So I'm going to go out and do a little late season squirrel hunting. Uh, if you've never done squirrel hunting late season, you know, February, March, I think you actually go into April, a lot of places. Um, it's, it's hard. The reason being is squirrels, oh my God, I got to get better. I got to get better shape. Jesus. Uh, squirrels, they don't like to spend a whole lot of time out of their nest. Uh, you got to figure they don't have a furnace and they're keeping them warm. It's just their body heat. So they they come out, you know, shorter amounts of times. You got to remember they come out in the warmer times. It's not like any other part, like if you go in, you know, early fall where they come out first thing and then come out last part, kind of with, you know, with deer. Uh, now they're coming out somewhat midday because it's the warmest part of the day. But I got a, it's my brother's property. Uh, he's got a couple tree stands out here. He goes deer hunting. Said he's seen uh, tons of squirrel. So he's, he, I told him I'd come shoot some because if you've ever been deer hunting, a squirrel sounds like a herd of buffalo coming through the woods. When he gets your hopes up, you turn around, it's just a little bushy tailed, cute little thing looking at you like, hey. So I figure I'm going to come out. Uh, it, late season's hard. So it, I'm, gonna, I'm going for one. If I can get two, great. If I can get three, mind blown. If I get the one, I'm gonna cook it. If I get two, I'm gonna cook one. I'm gonna put one in the freezer. If I get three, I'm gonna be extremely surprised. So I'm going for the area back here in the tree stands because that's where the, the uh, most of the nests are. So I have a better chance of seeing one back there. If they're there or not, or if they come out, I don't know. It, it's kind of cold out. If if I can last, or if I can outlast them, we'll see as far as the cold goes. But if not, whatever. I'll come out next weekend. Next week can about be the last week, and I go. Uh, reason being is, they right now you know it's just past their breeding season. Uh, the females have their babies in them by now, and I don't want to take any females out because that's a chance of putting more fe uh, you know more young into the you know this spring and then more for me to hunt you know next fall so i'll get if i get a female whoops if not you know good so we'll see what we can get i brought out my 22 with me got the suppressor on it try to keep things quiet and uh it's around here i got to be real careful with my shots because I, there's all, where I usually hunt, uh, way up north, it, there's no houses up there, but around here I got a lot of houses. Not a lot, but there's a lot more houses than what I'm used to hunting around. So I can't just take, I got to be very careful with the shots that I take is probably the way I should say it. Um, my goal is to shoot down into the ground or shoot into a tree which I always try to do anyway, but around here it really matters because of the houses and I, you know, I, need, I need a good backstop. I got plenty of daylight, so I got time to let them come out of the trees, get on the ground, or hopefully get on my side of a tree or have a tree along, uh, you know, basically on the back side of them through my shooting path. We'll see though, that's Fife and C1. I don't know how much longer I could sit out here. I need, I'm freezing. I saw a couple more, I just couldn't get a shot at them. A fox squirrel, it's a male, that's a good thing. I was uh, hoping to get a male if I did get one. Decent size, probably this year's. But I'm gonna get this guy, I'm gonna get a fire going. 
one to warm up and two to I'm gonna cook them so I'm gonna get all that stuff started real quick oh if I don't fall All right, give you a little idea what I got. I got uh, it's I got the squirrel. I got a fire going. I just saw this wood right here. I cut that about eight years ago. I put it underneath this tarp, and I just that was the last little bit that I couldn't get out of the woods when I was cutting wood out here. Uh, it, it's still good though. It's uh, that tarp kept it great. It's nice and dry, so I can't complain about that. Worked out pretty good. But I got the uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the squirrel. I'm gonna cook it over the fire for a little bit and then uh, kind of brown it up. And then I got some uh, aluminum foil and some seasoning. So what I'm gonna do is put it in the aluminum foil once it's kind of browned up and cooked some. And then uh, we'll slow cook it and just kind of try to break all the meat down so it kind of pulls apart real easy. I don't know if it's gonna work that good or not, but we're gonna find out. This is some, what's it called? Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. I don't know. It's in my brother's house, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to give it a good coating. There. Coat it up real good. That way it kind of bakes into it. And then uh, we'll come back and wrap it up. So I'm pretty sure it's done. I'm gonna get it out here. It's been on there a while. You don't want to overcook it because it gets a little chewy. Like I said, squirrel's a little chewy anyway. Pea. Peas are done. What? Gotta see if it'll show up. Got a couple of hairs on there. That's the only downfall to squirrels. Their hair literally sticks to everything. But it is what it is. So I'm gonna get a front leg here. It's actually cooked pretty good. It's not like cooking it in a crock pot where uh, it just falls right apart. But that's, I mean, you can't ask for being cooked better than that. Huh. I'm really surprised. Get the other front leg. It's, I mean, it's, the meat's, it's a little darker meat if you never had squirrel before, but it's still good. I'm literally going to eat this whole thing. This turned out great. 
you know what? I'm gonna get that barbecue sauce. I'm gonna try that. Cheating on my sweet baby Ray's with this, but like I said, I didn't bring anything with me. I just grabbed what was in my brother's house. I don't like it. Hickory bourbon. They put too much fake bourbon flavor in there. It tastes good cooked. It don't taste good like that. I know. Try some of the steak seasoning. Nope. <laughs> it's better cooked. I mean, it's good flavor, but it's just, it's too much. It needs to be cooked off. The combination between the two being cooked, that's pretty good. Let's look where you look like a pure barbarian. Oh my God, there's hair all over it. Oh well, little hair never hurt, but I just picked the whole body up. That's what's left. I just dig in. This is good. I'm glad it came out today. Yeah, it was only the one, but whatever. It ain't about quantity, it's about quality. It's a good time. That's all I care about. Well, I'm gonna finish this. Uh, I mean, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, it's like I said, it's coming close to the end of uh, hunting season for small game type stuff, for me at least. Uh, so videos might die off a little bit because there's really not a whole lot I can go out and do until the snow breaks and then, you know, mushroom hunting. Actually, I'm going to tap maple trees out here soon, so that'll be something coming up. I'll show you how to tap maple trees and make uh, real maple syrup. <clears throat> but once uh, spring, summer, you know, that time comes, be fishing, cray crayfish trapping, uh, mushroom hunting. I can't wait for mushroom hunting. I love doing that. So... We'll see. We'll see. Uh, see what I can come up with. And I try to not make stupid videos of like me going to get my oil changed or something. That I just I cannot stand that. I want to try to keep this channel as much outdoors as possible. That way people don't get sick of it. So, well, like I said, thank you. I appreciate you watching, and I will hopefully see you soon.